smooth. Alright. So I was gonna use the ring light, but I don't even need that shit. So I'm out here chilling, man. Mm. Alright, man. Uh, this is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about. Uh, hi. Okay. Because I, I wanted to think whether or not you want to do the whole message, not the messenger kind of thing. And I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's something I got to take into consideration. Um... I, I'll say this. I'll say this. You know what's going on, uh, man? Man, uh, smooth, smooth. King, this what's up? This what's up? Um, all right, check it out. This is what, this is what I want to talk about. Man. I just, I just go general. Then I go general. I won't even talk about messenger and shit. Um, self deification. I saw, I saw a video today. Came out today. It was talking about it. Well, the title, <laughs> the title was the science of self deification um I, I reviewed I reviewed a little bit of it what stop <laughs> don't tell your girl about it Chris Hansen <laughs> y'all niggas stupid no but there was very little self deification in the video and me being me I was triggered of course spent most of the day triggered um but only mildly triggered only mildly triggered um and um so yeah I wanted to rant about that shit a little bit no one fucking man watching it right now <laughs> oh shit oh uh, <clears throat> what the hell is self deification um if you listen to any shit I put up before in general self deification is the left hand proper what do I mean by the left hand proper um uh, the left hand the left hand path at its core Okay, everything else is not the proper, the left hand path proper. Not to say it's not left hand path because you know, left and you go left far enough, you're gonna end up on the right. Left and right are uh, they define one another. So, I'm not gonna say whether or not somebody is or isn't left hand path, although I will say it every now and then, but mostly I'm being facetious, facetious and I'm being a dick. I get it, I'm a dick. Um, but yeah, self deification is the left hand path proper. I like this better. <laughs> Um, now people hear the deification and they get they get hyped, they get excited, they get ready to be spooky. Uh, and this is what I'm gonna say, man. Uh, the deification, the deification is a means to an end. The, the the core of the idea of what you're getting into is self. All right, and if you don't have an appropriate grasp of self, none of self deification will be effective. What do I mean by a proper grasp of self? But it's easy to hear me say that and be like, oh, I, I, I know he's talking about me. <laughs> uh, I know about the Anunnaki, <laughs> you know, uh, Flat Earth. Like, oh, my God. I was actually talking on Instagram to another Flat Earth dude a few days ago. And it was funny because I didn't call him stupid. I didn't call him stupid at all. Not even close. I didn't I, I didn't um, I didn't open that door. I kind of wanted to, but I didn't open that door at all. I didn't open that door at all. He call, he's like, man, don't call me stupid. And I'm like, wait a second, hold on. I'm going back just to check, make sure I didn't actually do it, because you know how I do. I went back, I'm like, I'm not calling you stupid, but I think it's funny that you you you, you look in to see what, I, what in versus what I just said, you look stupid. I, I think that's funny. Anyways, um, <laughs> self deification, okay? You need an appropriate grasp on the idea of self. This gets back to what I mean when I say human is a lot, okay? Um... Human is what is is the, the the basis or the foundation for all the programming that people are are, are saying is in movies and televisions and yada yada yada. Okay, I don't care what they did to the black man, you know. Uh, uh, I, I don't care how they how they disrespected the yoni in the movie, you know. Oh, they're showing you, they're showing you. Like, who the fuck is showing you, and why would they be showing you? Uh, oh, they're showing you. They're trying to show you. I'm on a cut edge, so I'm letting niggas know they're trying to show you. Like, no, look, look. The point, even though even if they were showing you, because if they're showing you, you're still not getting as disrespectful. It's kind of funny. But even if they're showing you, what's the basis of what they're talking about? Human is the underlying concept behind all that shit you watch. It takes it, it frames the idea of reality around this 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 concept of a human, all right? 
it's a collection of contracts, it's a collection of agreements that you make about what reality is, how it works, and the point of it. Uh, when, when you left religions, when you left your, your, your cultures, you were, you were leaving behind the answer to three questions, all right? And in your study, as you're trying to find out what more there is beyond religion, what more there is beyond culture, what more there is uh, that, that you've been lied to about, you have to understand that you, you're essentially seeking to answer three questions, all right? What is the nature of reality at large? What is the nature of the self? And what is the continuity between the two? Your cultures and religions gave you the answers to those three que- three questions inherently. That's why they were religions. That's why they were cultures. Because they answered those questions for you. They told you what reality at large is, what the self is, and what is the continuity between the two. Okay? <clears throat> so just going out here, finding, finding information on whatever the fuck, and telling yourself, you get it, you know, you found a new truth. You didn't. What, you did, what you've really done is redecorated the idea of human. Because human is new shit. Human is new shit. It's new. It's, it's, it's like 2000. It's the last 2000 years. And it took a while for you. That shit didn't even catch on. Like human is some new shit, bro. It's not. Oh, well, everyone always thought they were human. No, no, no. You got to get into why you think what you think. And when I say human, I don't just mean homo sapien. Homo sapien is not human. Human is the idea we place over the fact that we have a homo sapien. It's a collection of ideas and agreements. Please challenge the ideas, my nigga. Oh my God, the fuck you talking about? Somebody give me the smoke. See, this didn't come out of left field. All the other niggas been standing around like, oh no, I'm not gonna say anything. Oh my God, <laughs> fuck with it. But no, human is the lie. The, the narrative we place around what it is we're perceiving. That's the lie. That's the lie. These motherfuckers think they're gonna get into this shit and get superpowers. Motherfuckers talking about DNA upgrades, upgrading your meat bag. What? Stop. The fuck out of here. Let this world go. That's the whole prize. That's what you're going for. So you gotta get. You gotta understand what self is beyond your your experience of this world. And then motherfuckers will go give a one word answer, think they know what the fuck they're talking about, and be done. Like uh, just say mind or soul. Hey right, nigga, what the fuck does that even mean? This nigga live. He means motherfucking lie. Hey, <laughs> this bitch right about my mouth. I'm say. I'm telling you, y'all, human is the lie. I, <clears throat> nobody else saying it. Niggas trying to say it, but they don't even know how to use words. I'm telling you, human is the lie. Not homo sapien. Homo sapien real as fuck. Homo sapien real as fuck. Human is the lie. You got to get into how you're framing the things you're saying. How you're coming to the conclusions you're coming to. And just because you got a group of people telling you, hey, man, check, fire, facts. Oh, I'm so motivated by the thing you said. Don't mean it's right. Don't mean it's right. Uh, I follow this other, this other little nigga. Um, kid call himself Yen Son. And he, he could come out the mouth every now and then say some shit. And he'll get he, you know, some, some, some spirity stuff, spooky spirity stuff. You know, you get a bunch of comments in there, you know, from other other uh, circle jerkers, and they'd be like, oh, man, check, fire facts, that was great. Oh, you know what it is. And I'm just looking, I'm like, no, 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 I'm going to comment. No, I'm going to comment. And I, he'd be like, man, you always say, yep, yep, yep. Because look, bro, ain't no, don't nobody else even know what you're talking about. They're just happy to hear someone say something that sounds spirity and spooky. I'm telling you, niggas, you, it, it's, it takes more than agreeing with a motherfucker. All right, it takes more than agreeing with a motherfucker to understand what the fuck you're talking about. Who is this? This nigga, ugly as. <laughs> did I do it? Okay, I did. It. Yeah, hey, I'm here. Yay. <laughs> I'm here, daddy man. Yeah, well, I'm here because you know I get deep in that type of shit. Now I'm gonna let you go ahead and get your shit off because I don't want to cut no. No, I want I, you. You jumped in the building, bro. Come on, let me talk to me now. You know, I ain't I, talked to you about niggas in a minute. Chris Hansen. <laughs> That's what some niggas would call me. <laughs> That's a handsome motherfucker over there. Well, look at him. You look good. <laughs> huh? How you? Before we get into the bullshit, how you been doing, brother? Spectacular if I get to choose, man. Okay. Shit go up and down, but I'm, I'm making, I'm showing up, and I'm doing right, man. About How about right. you, man? You a whole daddy. Boy, I got two kids. Boy, please, man. 
<laughs> a whole daddy. Well, I got cheering out there, bitch. But... That man, T.Y., a whole daddy. <laughs> and on top of that, let me go ahead and correct the correct the statement. I ain't T.Y. no more. My name is Tyler Glover. Uh-oh. Get him. Nah, yes. I take that. I don't got no nickname, but I'm a grown man. But my name is Tyler There we Glover. go. There we go. <laughs> I love so, uh, it. So, because so, I, I don't want to miss speech. And I also don't want people to think I'm ignorant either. I know how to coach <laughs> with them. So what what uh what what is the the general the general concept of this catharsis that you're having right now? Mm hmm It's it's the misconception around the idea of self deification. More specifically, the self part. Um it, it's people got the idea of self caught up in the narrative of human this humanity narrative and they okay. miss out on the underlying reality because they're too busy telling themselves they know what they think they know okay i can, I can dig that and, and, and i think the big issue is that there's levels to the shit there's different densities of of, of coming to understanding yourself and, you know you get to a, you get to a place where you're you're not where you used to be and you get impressed with yourself and then forget there's still other motherfucking places to go Ah! You don't see him in now. Who? Jugs. Oh man, the <laughs> jug <laughs> man. Yeah, I'm jug in the building. But uh, I understand that. So I might be the wrong person to actually have this conversation because now I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I was having this conversation with my mom earlier, right? Where. Mm -hmm. Anybody that knows me knows that regardless of the stature of it, I've been an entertainer my entire life. And I realized, I've realized, I'll say, at one point, I thought that I'd like to be on stage for the constant need for attention. Then I grew up and I realized, like, it's not the constant need of attention that I want. It's the constant need of adoration. Hmm. 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 It's a little, a little more, a little more specific, a little, a little more detail to it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's mm -hmm. the kind of adoration, and it's like that adoration is because I see myself a certain way. I deitize myself. We do, and like that's one of the things I try and express to people is that we do this stuff quite naturally. Like it's not some the spiritual stuff ain't something you got to go find and and you do you do a perfect yoga pose or some shit like that. Like you're already doing it. But it's mm -hmm. about how you frame your idea of reality that's making the difference. You know, because people like to say, I'm the most high, I'm God. Okay, well, if that's the case, how what you what you decide is law. What you're deciding reality is, is what's making it. Not to say reality isn't simply physical reality, but what you're perceiving. You know, like you can play a video game and you know, you can see all the stuff in the game, but you know, if you don't if you don't understand the fact that it's cold and it's created, you won't look at it appropriately. And I mean, the thing with that is, it's just like, it's hard to decipher the two when it comes to that because using the same analogy of video games, video games are hyper-realistic. Mm -hmm. So code is so specific to where it's like, every step that you take in a video game, the grass is rendering to look real. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Look real, the trees are rendering. The illusion, yes, every sir. Flash, every jump shot, whatever game you play, it's rendering to look real. So at that it's made at, to fool you, yeah. At, you know what I'm saying? At that point, it's like, how can you decipher what human is or versus, you know, and I heard you a little bit on being a homo sapien where it's like, that's just your mammalian classification. It's like, you can take that yeah. out of the completely. But the idea yeah. of being human, it's like, I think that we, uh, I think that we throw up in the air all the time the idea of being human to kind of either subjugate ourselves to something or dismiss ourselves from something that we don't want to be a part of. So it's like... Some type I mean, of culpability. I'm Trying to dismiss some type of a culpability. Like, I'm only human. I'm, 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 I can make mistakes. I'm human. That's a human mm -hmm. aspect. Mm -hmm. It's an agreement. It's an agreement you're making. You see what I'm yeah. saying? It, and it's like, that is true, but at the same time, it's like I think we don't give ourselves enough grace to understand that like two things can be true at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, they can be true on different levels of analysis. What do you mean by that? Like, um, 
like, 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 let's say this for instance, like, um, I it, right now on this level of analysis where we're just regularly talking, I have a hand, all right. But if you to go, if you to zoom into the the level of analysis where we're we're looking at atoms, it's, it'd be difficult to distinguish my hand from the air around it. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the atoms are reality, and my hand is a reality, but their reality is on different different levels of analysis. And I get that, dude. And it's like, but at the same time, it's like when we start talking about stuff like that, it's like we're splitting hairs a little bit because it's like now you're talking about extremes. It's like I see the hand, but also it's like I cannot definitively see the atoms around or the air around the hand. And you yeah. can't, for being human and my perception not being to that level. Well, no, but this is this is the point and, I would make about that because I, I get what you're saying. It, 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 and, and on the face value, you know, that's how we define reality to 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 um, so it can be consistent, especially if we're speaking to one another. But the the point I'm making is 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 the subtlety of it. The um, the hold on, I have this. I have this right here. It's okay. This is what I want to say. This is what I want to say. It's it's speaking to our perception itself because generally. You know, we, we stick to the regular level of perception and, and by not going beyond that, we don't see what's in front of our face. Correct. What we see, what we, what you perceive is defined by what you don't perceive. Just like you were saying, you can see the hand, but you don't see the atoms right there. All right. What you're not seeing is giving definition to what you can see. It, it shapes and molds the boundaries of your perception. Just like with the video game, you know, you can see the stuff that's being rendered, but you can't see the code in the background because it's defining the the the, right. uh, the line of what you can perceive. So it's being it's being able to look through the illusion, you know, not necessarily needing to escape all limitations and all this stuff. Like, like that's ridiculous. Like limitations have their 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 utility. You know, it, it, when I said it defines what you do and don't see, but it's being able to see beyond that because. Even even though we have the the limit on perception to not be able to see the atoms, that's one thing. That's one level of analysis. But what I'm saying, when it comes to human, is these different narratives we place on top of that reality that that obscure our our perception even more. Right. That's what that's what causes people to miss the idea of self, because self self goes much deeper than your personality. Your personality is like software on the the hard drive, the hardware of the computer. All right, but the software and the hardware are not the user. Like the software makes using the hardware very easy. You know, it's you can personalize your, your, your user interface on your computer, all kind of shit. But it doesn't. It's not the user, and so you have to get an idea of the user if you're going to talk self. And that's what people usually miss. They get caught up in their personality and this narrative of human, and then they start making up ridiculous things like Anunnaki and upgrade DNA and stuff. Dog, I'm trying to tell you. And the funny thing about that shit is, is like, we like again, same analogy. When you start talking about the user, the user, it's like the user and the user interface are split because the user interface is like that is code, that is zeros and ones, binary code. It's all about the how you utilize it, right? Mm -hmm. And how mm -hmm. you utilize it is like, well, are you good at it or not? Like that's why people split <laughs> their time between Windows, Mac, and Linux. <laughs> and they're like it's like what's easier for you to use what's like what's more user proficient for you to use but the, mm -hmm. the thing about that is like the user changes yeah Constantly, the user changes it's yeah. like that that that's why you have instagram that's why you have facebook that's why you have twitter that's why you have whatever it is because it's like i've grown past using facebook now i use instagram I've grown past using Instagram. Not only use Twitter. I've grown past using Twitter. Not only use fucking Twitch or whatever the fuck it is that people are using. Now. It's like because you feel like you've grown past it. It's like your your specificity to the interface itself has outgrown the interface, and the interface can't grow because it is binary code. That shit mm -hmm. is zero with and ones. It can it's appear set. to grow. That's about it. It can look like it's growing, but it's not. It's the same it's, thing. Yeah, it's not gonna change. It's like it's zeros and ones. Mm -hmm. It's going to consistently be the thing, and it's like, man, boy, I'm, I can go so deep onto that. But it's like when you start to break that shit down, it's like zeros and ones and zeros and ones are competing against each other, and we're trying to keep up with that shit. And that is fucking hilarious in itself. <laughs> it's a ridiculous side it game. Is, it's it a side quest. <laughs> notion that zeros and ones are competing with each other to see how many more zeros or how many more ones are in the coding. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's fucking crazy, but.
that's a whole nother and see and, le- and see that's what people will be talking about when they're talking about like flat earth and dna upgrade yeah, they're talking about yeah. zero and one flat earth simulation theory argument oh. Oh, shit that I'm, i cannot i cannot <laughs> delve into because i'm just like all of this sounds ridiculous but <laughs> all that shit's ridiculous like you mean to tell me anyway but <laughs> bro that's why i be out here talking about this shit because because i love this shit but i understand it and i'm i can tell motherfuckers who don't understand it and they sitting here filling it with all this ridiculous bullshit that ain't got nothing to do with it and they're trying to make that the, the 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 focus or the subject and it's just not it's a terrible flub it's it, what it is it's like it's trying to break indelible facts up with what i think could be true so it's mm-hmm. like the fact <laughs> theory is like, well, airplanes fly, and they've been programmed specifically to fly at the curvature of the Earth. But you want to sit here and break up the mold to say like, well, the planet could be flat. That makes no sense at all. There's mm-hmm. too many facts that prove that the planet is not flat. Yeah, yeah but it, and like a lot of people Bye. who I who I see who I talk about this stuff with, it's not so much that they even believe that. It's that. What they're doing is they're planting seeds of doubt and because there are seeds of doubt they're assuming that the thing must not be true because they're doubting it and it's, it's, all you really have to do is start to learn a little bit like actually learn about the shit and you'll and you'll get rid of that but they don't actually learn they they they, they listen to the thing somebody tells them and they, they try and figure out whether or not they agree but you can't really agree or disagree if you don't understand what's going on you got to challenge that like dude you watched a 10 minute youtube video and then went on a fucking hot tirade in the middle of the street. <laughs> I found out last night in the middle of my sleep the earth was flat. Like, what? <laughs> you realize they were selling globes before I don't know, Chris, Christopher Columbus came over to America, but right? well, that's even a fake, but they were yeah. selling dude, like come on man. People but have again, known the planet is a sphere for millennia. <laughs> And you just froze, bro. Look at the fucking sky and tell. You can look at the sky and be like, well, geez. Shadow of the planet is on the moon almost every night. Like, and you know, I'm a dick, so I'm going to make fun of it, but. I, I think I, I think I can understand why people do it is you know they 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 find that one place where they thought no seed of doubt could grow and then they find one growing and then they just they, they kind of lose it they just start believing everything because their metaphysical presuppositions have all been shattered because they thought they knew something and they realized they didn't know and the fact that they didn't know was so scary they they didn't even take the time to go no it's just like oh my god well I mean just do some research for yourself kind of thing yeah, you can research for yourself, but just like I don't know, look up, <laughs> look up, <laughs> like look up. Is this because you have a question like, well, why, why, why does the plane look like it's moving flat? Like, okay, well, go answer the question. You know, it's like you can answer that question. Just because you have a a seed of doubt doesn't mean that the, what you're talking about is incorrect. It's just that you have a seed of doubt. You don't know. You don't know. Which is fine. It's okay not to know, but you gotta you gotta go take the time to know. Yeah, that's fine. You can you can, you can doubt all you want to, but um, again, I'm not trying to harp on fucking flat Earth theory because that's just that shit is <laughs> fucking. Come for you. <laughs> that, is, that is simulation theory. That shit's ridiculous. You can tell me that my body, the world, is simulated through zeros and ones. Somebody, which that's more of a viable theory or a more of a viable conspiracy than fucking simulation or uh flat uh, earth theory mm-hmm. like well a simulation was created by a simulation and it's an it's an infinite web of simulations being created that's mm-hmm. more of a viable thing to fight than we live on a disc yeah. and the sun is bigger than the planet that we live on and the moon that we see every night but yet we don't see sunshine behind us like they, they they they're mixed up they're mixed up but see look with the with the with the um with the simulation theory like like the what like 
the thing that, 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 that I like about that is that it brings up the next question. Well, it, it begs the next question. Okay, well, if you got all these things that are being simulated, well, what's the thing that it's simulated for? Like, what's experiencing the simulator? And so that's that's where you get into the play, the, the human stuff. That's where you get to dividing or, or making a distinction between what's being simulated and what's experienced in the simulation. Well, well that was that. But then there's also like what you're telling me is that God is now a Twitter geek that programs it all. <laughs> God's a Twitter because geek. What you're, what you're basically what you're basically telling me is that for one, and I'll, I'll, I'll tackle both these things separately, but at the same time. For one, if you're telling me that we live on a flat earth, well, that means that we're 2D, which makes no sense. Because the basic unit of life is a sphere. You look at everything, everything is spherical in some sort of a sense. It's all geometry. Basic geometry. <laughs> so that means you're telling me we're 2D. Secondly, you're basically telling me that God is a Twitter geek that sits on the fucking internet and types shit up all day. And says, you're going to get into a car accident. You're going to miss work. Your girlfriend's going to cheat on you. You're going to burn your dinner. <laughs> you're going to burn your dinner. <laughs> and, uh, and the universe is so large that you think that he gives a fuck about us specifically. Mm-hmm. Like, like, or it, like this is what I usually tell people to do, to, to, to live lucid. Boy. And what I mean by that is, is tapping out of that, that, that human narrative of what you think is going on. Like, like take for instance, like following what you were saying, uh, with, with God actually giving a fuck about things, you know, that, that idea of a personal God, let's say you being the God of your body. Okay. You don't give a fuck about the cell under your toenail. I mean, you probably pay attention to it if your toes infected, but you don't like you don't walk around giving a fuck about it. All right, like the thing that the thing that's the god of something doesn't give a fuck about every micro managed detail, you know. But I mean, but that's only from the perspective of this idea of a personal god. Like what I usually tell people is it don't work like that. It's it's that, um, and I use the Christianity stuff because that's where you get this this idea of a personal god. It's like um, if you've seen the Father, you've seen the Son. You know, the, the father doesn't give the son. He gives the world that he so loved to the son. The father right. is the son. Right. All right. But in his capacity as the son, he's different. It's a different level of analysis of the same thing. So when Christ says, you know, you're all children, like you're all children of God, like you, you're equal to me. Like you'll do things in greater than I am. Like Christ was just the first one. Not that there was some wavy haired white person on the planet Earth. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what we get to immediately. <laughs> right? Jesus was apparently white and he died for our sins. <laughs> you better be thankful that that white man saved you. But then those same people that look like him enslaved you 2,000 years later. Dad, I, I call you. Yeah, I believe that. Like, sure. like, the, the whole the whole story, the narrative of, of Christ is they're talk it's a description of the architecture of God. So like when you're talking um, you know, God like God is a because you anthropomorphize it by going like God is a Twitter geek. You know, that's an anthropomorphization anthropomorphization. But if you're looking at it metaphysically, right. like it's like the difference between one and three. The father is the son. You know, father the father is the son. That's the whole thing. So what you are is the son. But then it's not just simply establishing the son because christ established the position of the son what you're supposed to do is be about your father's work and finish what you started finish what was started right true enough you gotta complete the work that's that's the whole point and people get caught up in this narrative of humanity like human is a, is a secular idea if, to begin with i mean it's like it's basically amounts what you are to a monkey on a rock as opposed to being able to see yourself as the entirety of reality now not the entirety of reality as one thing at once but like the father is the son and in terms of the son as opposed to the father so it's not separating the two but it's looking at them on different levels of analysis you are the father because you're the son but you have to continue you have to you have to be about your father's work like like with horus and osiris how horus rebuilds the kingdom what you're supposed to do is rebuild the kingdom but the kingdom ain't fucking down here on earth you know that's where you that's just the bottom you got to go back up to the top yeah which i mean again splitting hairs with that because now we're talking about religion and shit and it's like it's all about what people choose to believe like i i see my boy bizzo over there that's my brother I see. Ah, oh, <laughs> shit, red in here too. 
I see my boy Bizzo, and he like, yeah, he gave you the, 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 the option to choose. Which, look, if you are of that ilk and you want to believe that, that is fine. I'm not saying you're wrong for it. Never would say that you're right for it either because what we believe is what we believe. But the one thing about it is, like, you are of the flesh. And we all... <laughs> Listen... If that book is any type of way correcting what it's saying, ain't none of us getting salvation. None of us. How can you? By letting this shit go. That's what that's like that's that's the whole point. No, I, because I agree with you. If 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 the framing of your conception of yourself is simply of the flesh, then there is no there is no option for for redemption, for salvation. But okay. It's it's that you gotta let it go. Like people people think tithing, give back ten percent is like money. Like that's stupid. It's not it's not about money. It's giving back giving back what under Caesar what is Caesar's. That's the physical world. That's your idea of yourself is this. Because the work's already been done, but you have to acknowledge it. And you don't acknowledge it by by continuing in and only seeing yourself in the human narrative. You acknowledge it by letting this shit go and, and turning the light of awareness back on itself, tapping back into what self is. Like distinguishing yourself from one of these simulations, right? That's the work. When people sitting out here trying to upgrade their DNA, some stupid shit like that. Like, why you gonna? How you gonna? Like, it's like it's like you you're playing a video game and you're trying to stop playing the game, so your dumbass decides to get a stronger character in the game. Like, that's not how you get out. You gotta right. put the yeah, controller down. This, is, it, bro, stay there because that is a good point. You want a stronger character in the game, but you suck at the game. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like you just suck at the game. Because look, if you have a proper understanding of your relationship to the game, you're good at it. Like if you're playing a game and you can't really see it's a game, you don't know how games work, you're not going to be able to have a good relationship with it. But if you know how games work and you know your relationship to it, you'll be able to play it properly. Sure enough. And that's the thing where it's like, Again, I'm glad that you keep bringing up this game simulation idea because that's exactly what this is, where it's like, that's why people are into shooters. That's why people are into fighting games. That's why people are into more like games like Zelda or whatever. It's like, that fits my criteria more. Mm -hmm. I'm not a competitive person, so I like to play this. I'm, I am a competitive person, so I want to play that. I'm fucking, I'm a lackadaisical gamer. I'm cavalier about my gaming style, so I like to play this. That's why you have these types of games but in, when you break that shit down into reality in life you're doing the exact same thing it's like take your job for instance i don't want to work in construction because i'm not trying to work 16 hours a day and fucking break my back lifting bricks up a fucking 27 uh, story building cool <laughs> no one said you had to but somebody does mm -hmm. because That's somebody's the world game. around you is getting built that way like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say I'm good at the game, or I got it all figured out. Because it's not like, like, it's not a thing to have all figured out. Like when you play a game, you don't play it because you got it all figured out. You play it to figure it out. Like the, 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 the process is the work. You know. Hey, Red, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Red gotta shut the fuck up because this is the same motherfucker. He he jumped in late. This same motherfucker told me, "Do you believe in?" Flat Earth or a round Earth? Is that somebody told you that? Oh God! Well, I can look at the at the sky and tell that the planet is round. Niggas have known the planet was a sphere for millennia, dude. It's it's and like so listen, basic. I love Red. That's that's one of my closest friends. I love Red, but he like to get on here and bullshit me. Red, <laughs> shut your ass up. Huh? Yeah, to live Christ like, chosen to join the kingdom. I thought. Yeah, it's to is to be Christ-like. But see, Christ wasn't following the human narrative. That's 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 the point in the story. Like the Old Testament sets the law, and the New Testament is how you how you interact with the law. Christ wasn't he wasn't playing the game everybody was playing. That's like why he was telling them, "Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's." You know, go give him that coin back. It's got his face on it. That's his. That's like be about your father's work. See, motherfuckers are run from Christianity, but they wasn't good Christians. So they don't even know what the fuck they was running from. They just mad because they, they couldn't do whatever they wanted to do. Like if you're gonna be Christ-like, you gotta be in the world, but not of it. And if you if you run, if you follow in the human narrative, that's in the world and of it. That's what I'm saying. That's right. what the because that that whole in the world and of it. That's the human narrative. See, motherfuckers well, talking about all this rituals even, and shit. That's the shit. 
and and, to, and not to cut you off, but to add on to that, it's not necessarily a human error, it's the human condition. You cannot fight the fact that sin, sin is inherent in your blood. That's the thing it defi- about it. It defines, it defines the good. Like the good and the bad define each other. You can't, there's not going to be a, a all one. And like, if there is all one, then, then Christ, God will like, be all, like, all the good. In the Bible, they talk about Christ being evil, but nowhere also did they talk about him being, well, they talk about him being a carpenter, but we never seen a shitty built. <laughs> that was his profession. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the Christ-like stuff, it's not about life on the planet. Like, the planet is named Earth. Earth is phys- the physical world. It's not just simple, like, orange is named orange. Or if you had a king who was named king. Like, the planet is named Earth. Earth is the physical world. You got to give all that shit back. You got to give, like, let it go. Like, getting caught up in the narrative of what you think your life is based on your personality is the shit that's going to fuck you up. Hey yo, y'all niggas funny as hell. That nigga said Christ wasn't trying to hear that shit. What? Hell no, nah. he walked up in that thing, started turning over the table, smacking the Pharisees and the scribes. What the fuck y'all in here doing, nigga? Then turn around, and told three of his homeboys they some hoes. Speak to about but right? y'all ain't <laughs> He was right about it too. I <laughs> fuck with you, but y'all boys pussy. Speak to about. <laughs> lo and behold, what happened? Them boys right were, next morning, his ass was strung up somewhere. Oh shit! Oh, uh. hey, listen. The 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 gospel of the Bible I fuck with because because of the um, I guess if you have the wherewithal to understand the message, it's a beautiful message and it's, it's it's a very powerful message. But it's like if you believe fucking people living in a whale's mouth or some shit right. like that, take that literal. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Come on, man. Right, it, it, it's 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 ignorance. It's it's ignorance. I, I almost want to call it willful, but then I'd be being more of a dick than I need to be. It's not. It's it's, it's ignorance of how ignorant you are. It's fear, like it's it's complete fear. Where it's like I don't I don't want to challenge it because what if I end up in the fiery pit? And it's like mm-hmm. you absolutely will to challenge it. Yeah, you got you got that, to that that you is got the gift to. of free will. You have free will to challenge it. And trust me, if there is a God, which I hope there is, and I believe there is because this world is way too beautiful to not believe that there is one. But there is a God. He is as benevolent as we believe him to be. He created you to be that flawed to question him. Yeah, the flaws the flaws are necessary, exactly. Like, you, you, look, if you didn't have the flaws, you'd still be fa- the father. Like the flaws are inherent; they're part of it. You're supposed to you're supposed to overcome that shit. You're supposed to get past it. And most of the most of the flaws niggas are worried about is human shit, like regular regular personality shit, like shit where they're trying to fight what the body is and trying to follow this narrative of what they think they should be, and they miss what they are or what they really can be. I mean, shit. There you go. Hold on. We got some people in the comments here. What do you say? Uh, oh, good I'd be missing the comments. Active as fuck. White Christian dudes had slaves and just swore they was going to heaven. You're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure they're not in there if there's a heaven that exists. I mean, shit. If they thought the, the the niggas was just animal, you know, hey, I guess I guess that was their reasoning. And if they are in there, that's not a heaven that you should want to believe in. Right, that's a different way. <laughs> Just saying, if you want to play extremes, that's like right on the boondocks. <laughs> or I'm pretty sure they're not there. Oh, man, really, man. I, I, if you ask me, bro, I, I would say where you die, where you die, where you go, where you die is where you decide to go. Like it's based on how you perceive things. Like, like back in the day, you know, motherfuckers, the whole village had a had a legend about where you go when you die. You know, so when they die, that's where they that's where they decide to go. That's they they make it by deciding on it. You know, they 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 substantiate its existence by doing that. But I mean, it's it's not to say these places are places. Like they're not some location you got to go to. It's how do I say it? It's like okay, this how I'm, this how I'm gonna say it because the physical world it's illusionary. Illusion doesn't mean it's not real. It means it's not what it appears to be. 
Yeah, it's like right. a, um, uh, what what they call it in the desert, uh, a mirage. Yeah, mirage. Yeah, exactly. There's a there's a reality to it, but based on how you're perceiving it is what's giving you that effect. Like the physical world is the appearance of a place. Like you play a video game, and there's a whole world in there, but it's not really a place. It appears to be a place. You know, the, to the degree to which we're caught up in this physical life and the narrative behind it, we're caught up in the appearance of it and not not the reality that's behind it. Because there's a difference between the motherfucker playing the game and the game. You know, the character you make in the game got all kind of shit it's got to go through, all kind of terrible things, good things, you know, it's, it's got that, but it's an appearance of a place. And you tap back into the part of yourself that is the thing that's playing the game, there's a whole different line of reality that, that's involved in that. So I guess in that, uh, you playing the game, the thing that connects you to it is, I guess, relatability in the character? Your agreement to it. Your agreement to it, yeah. You know, just like if you start an RPG up and you got, you know, you got your armor, you can customize it how you want to. You're going to keep playing the game because you're connected to it. You're emotionally invested to it. But right. if you don't give a fuck about the game, you put that controller down and be gone. Man, on top of that, the game sucks. So just, let's keep right? it <laughs> that shit sucks. I'm not playing that shit. I'm be pissed at calls on this shit, but no, I'm the being There's funny. No what you saying? You know, sometimes you get to the end of the game and you want to play it over. You know, motherfuckers will do that. True enough, multiple times, mm -hmm. yeah. Because you're exactly mm -hmm. invested. But then there's so I'll ask you this then. So at a God, I had a real fucking point and point, man, and fucking. <laughs> and while I was saying, while I was thinking about it, I think that's what happened. But I had a point and fucking point for that shit, though. But no, you're absolutely right, though. It's like I, I can't. Again, like I started this off with, it's like I think two things can be true. So it's like there is a, there is a obviously a physical sense of being human, and then there's obviously yeah. a emotional and spiritual sense of being human that isn't being that isn't connected to God but then there is that that is connected to God and then it's like Neil deGrasse Tyson said it the best where it's like we as human beings homo sapiens however you want to call it we like to attach God to things that we can't explain yes as, a, as the boundary of your perception or your ignorance yes yeah but Leon trying to get in he trying to cuss niggas out <laughs> hey is that the flat earth dude? Nah, 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 nah. Leon, that's my big brother. Hmm. He trying to get in here talking about some, yo, let me in. He got some shit to say, look. <laughs> What's this nigga gonna be talking about? Get out in front of my friends, Leon. <laughs> I gotta live here, you don't. Well, I gotta look at these comments. People been commenting and shit. They been going off on our ass. <laughs> the leaving in some songs, this is really different. Yeah, it's mostly it's mostly how you what you agree to what because my biggest thing is like when i'm talking i was really like i'm talking about self deification it's is the self thing because what the self is is the motherfucker playing the game and like you were saying there's all kind of motherfuckers playing different games yeah. but if you caught up in that game and you think that's where that's the 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 all kind of different people like no that's the different people in the game like you got to pull back to what self is and and let go of this stuff let go of this world it's not to say go outside and do and not give a fuck about it, because then you're gonna lose the game. What I'm saying is, it's it's about comp having a having a having a an appropriate relationship with the game, so that you understand what's going on. You understand the 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 nature of your predicament, like fucking Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Like, look, as much as as much as she had fun on the Yellow Brick Road, and I met the dumbass Scarecrow and the cold ass Tin Man. Like, she never left Kansas. And so all this running around, all she doing, thinking she getting somewhere, she's not really going anywhere because she never left Kansas. But to the degree to which she's she's a believe in it and, and and not using her fucking shoes, she's in she's in the Oz, she's in the Wizard of Oz, she's in uh, the Land of Oz. She never left Kansas, and that's the point. The father is the son. You never left Kansas, but if you don't get that, you you're agreeing to the Land of Oz. I gotta be telling folks, man. Even if you win the game, if you don't know how you win, you didn't really win. You gotta know how you won, otherwise you didn't win. That and then there's also I like that that point of the father being the son thing, where it's like, as a human being, if you ever wonder where you get your hubris and your arrogance from, it's from that. 
as the <laughs> fact that he places it one time. <laughs> that shit is fucking insane to think about. That hum- human beings wrote a book that described an all powerful, all seeing, all knowing God. And he loved himself so much that he made a human version of himself. He killed just to prove a point to human beings. That is insane. I mean, you got you got to prove it. You got to prove the things. I, 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 get, I get the insanity behind it, but it's insane. It's insane from a human perspective because this is what I'd say: it, it the the work of of having you know having the life of Christ. It established that the thing could be done. It, it paved the way, or or it's like okay, you got two different rooms. You know, uh, essentially you could be in one room or the other, but unless you make the door. You can't make the choice, and and the, the 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 manifestation of Christ. Not to say Christ was a person on the planet; it's, it's metaphysical again. But the the, the manifestation of Christ, because you go from the fall of Lucifer to the fall of Adam to the fall of Christ, and then Christ is the one that rises. You have because you have the, all three of them were necessary to get to the next place. Otherwise, you'd have just been at God, and and nothing would have happened. Like that's like, hmm, is that so bad? No, not at all. That's the thing. It's it's like it's all necessary. It's necessary. I, I it establishes not, the path. I do not needed middlemen and just stayed at the plug. <laughs> no, you know about the plug. Have <laughs> 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 we not needed all these middlemen? Is that really so bad? I mean, look, people use middlemen because they don't know the plug. But we didn't need them. That's the thing. <laughs> In that, in, in, yeah, that, we you didn't. don't need them, but you even if you don't know the story, but you didn't need them to get to the the grace of God, yeah. But from the essentially, you're correct. But what I'm saying is, from the person who's not the plug and don't know the nigga that, that, that know the plug, they need a middleman and they're gonna need a middleman until they meet the plug. Man, let this nigga in because he about to cuss us out. That nigga uh, Leoso, let him in. Cause he talking about let me in, but he got something to say. He got something on his heart. I can't pull him in. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who this is. Uh, that's my big brother. Did it do it? Okay, yeah, there it go. Look, 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 look. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> I'm high as a motherfucker. And I'm, I just clicked on the live, dog. That nigga over there, like, well, y'all niggas sound crazy as hell. Hell yeah! <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> Look, okay, it's so much shit y'all touched on that I wanted to fucking speak on, and I ain't texting fast enough, man. <laughs> Look at him. Like, yeah, shit, everybody. Yeah, like, okay, so with Lucifer and all of them shit, I feel like they were already in heaven. They got casted out because of basically wicked ways. Nowadays, or I guess ever since Jesus, he's not just bringing people into heaven and let's say you a wicked one and he casted you out. Now you have to live a certain way to get accepted into it. That's why when you go to a Christian church, they talk about, you know, God's army or, you know what I'm saying? Like soldier of God, shit like that, because basically it's how you live down here on earth that will get you to the kingdom to to the king that's okay. that's just like the fucking wizard of oz shit it's like yeah she didn't she was on a yellow brick road having fun meeting different people coming like into different obstacles but the main goal was to see the king you okay. see what i'm saying i do like Next that was her mission that she never strayed from that's okay. how we should live down here on earth you know, like he was saying, you know, that, that was her. That was her dancing with middleman. That was her because she thought the king, the king was the highest middleman. But like, you didn't need no middleman. Exactly. And she never left Kansas. I mean, if you think about it like that, as far as the middleman, but if you think about it as far as like basically trying to get into the gates of heaven, you see what I'm saying? Like, you gonna be down here? You gonna get tempted? You you like it's shit? It's it's evil out here. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, supposed I to be. Like, I like to right, think right, that hell is there on earth. It has to be a balance. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I accept your premise when it comes to that. But let me ask you this. Why does the acceptance into the the the, the pearly gates have to be a tryout for sixty seven to seventy five years? It's not a tryout. 
It is. That's exactly what you're proposing. Like you say, we're we're here in okay. Like like you say, we're here in the flesh. Each one of us have a spiritual connection with something. No matter if it's Muslim and you praising Allah, Christian, you praising Jesus. Like we all have a belief in a higher power. And we you all have vices as well. Right. So I feel like, okay, man, this this is a touchy subject, fella. I ain't gonna lie. But I look, feel like he said, look, man, look, oh, because, not no black guy, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, and me, me, me too, but like, you know, when you relate to like a game or you relate to like tryouts and shit like that, it ain't like that. It's like basically how not because that's, you that's exactly be, what that's exactly what's been preached to us especially us that is a tryout that is a game like, 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 tryout hold, hold on Leon hold on Leon hold on mind you Chris here that that he used to be my roommate back in the day like me and Chris go way back okay. <laughs> oh hey yo hold on now <laughs> Man, we used to still work together back in the day while he over there about years but I think you said work for everybody in it. That is a dope, boy. Sweet to us. But we used to cash fake checks together for road that thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but <laughs> right, I mean, so you establishing y'all relationship like No, nah, hold on, but I'm just saying though. At the same time, it's like we all from the South, and you know how that shit is when it comes to uh Biblical and and, and 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 religious relationships in the South, where it's like they they preached it in school, damn near. They preached it walking down the street, like you know how that shit is. So your whole life, you being 36, 37 years old, Chris, you being 34, 35 years old, 36 years old, me turning 30, like our whole lives, we've heard this shit, and it sounds like an audition to get into heaven. It's not like you can you can be as fallible as you want. But with grace and acceptance and basically an unlimited amount of apology, you probably can still get in heaven. It don't sound like that. What it sounds like is like, oh my God, you're living of sin. Like me having two kids by two different women, never being married. That book says that I should be casted into hell. But yet I'm still supposed to believe in that as if it is, well, the gospel. But you're not, I mean, you're not supposed to be casted into hell. It's just not the original layout for what. And then back to the Bible shit. I don't believe every fucking thing in the Bible. I don't you see what I'm saying? saying? Like, who's who's saying? Way back to, I know, I, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, like, who, who's, who's to say in that book, the person that wrote that book didn't have their own agenda or their own beliefs? And, and you know what I mean? Like, they could have been fucking yeah. wrong. But you see, it's, it's, it's not even so man. much. It's not even so much what you believe. It's how you believe it. Like, like you, you were talking about, you know, Dorothy. What she was trying to do in the land of Oz was get to the king. You know, that's her whole thing. Like, like maybe in the land of Oz, uh, uh, you'd have been thrown in hell for for not having, you know, married women. But this is the thing. She was going. She was going to the king because she was trying to. She was trying to get out of Oz. But the whole time, she never left Kansas. That's my point. The whole time she never left Kansas. When she realized she was in the world but not of it, she's like, "Oh shit, I can see myself sleeping in Kansas." Like I never left Kansas. And so as long as she playing the world of Oz, trying to get to the king, thinking that's that's the way out, that's the plug. That's not the plug. You got to get the fuck out. Stop playing this game. Stop to like let this go. Like when they tell you give ten percent back, it ain't ten percent in money. That's that's Caesar shit. It's ten percent is the physical realm in comparison to the whole thing. Like you right. got to get that back. Let that go. Once you let that go, that's when you're living Christ like. You know, Christ went now. He went down there trying to hold on to Caesar's gold and shit. He's like, nah, get that back to him, man. I ain't even about. I ain't about that shit. You know, it's it's not. I'm not saying be broke or nothing like that. You know, you got to have some money in the land of Oz. What I'm saying is, she never left Kansas. That's my. Th she she was trying to get to the king because she was trying to get out of Kansas. But the whole point, she never left to begin with. And once she could see that. There was no reason for her to still be messing with the game, still be messing with the land of Oz. I I totally get that, and I'm trying to like, like I'm trying to relate that to 
the sense of religion. Like, you see what I'm saying? But like I said, if we go off of a book that was written and revised multiple times, like you said, it's not about basically it's like what the bigger picture to you would be because if she's trying to get to the king but never left out of Kansas mm -hmm. if we're here in the flesh and we get buried in the fucking earth six feet deep we never left the earth but the spiritual side of us you see what I'm saying completed the journey south. we gotta get to the south exactly right. and the so stuff that ain't, the stuff ain't all that other stuff so that, as that's far the as the spiritual version of yourself is is concerned then that's i feel like that's what depends on how you lived in the flesh you see what i'm saying yeah, like how you live. angels and shit angels are not they're 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 spiritual beings they're not flesh with wings that's fucking flying <laughs> like you get what i'm saying like it's all spiritual beings like in the flesh down here I mean, it could probably be compared to like a fucking tryout, but it's not a tryout, uh, T.Y. Like, you well, see what I I'm saying? Mean, I'm, I'm not saying whether it is or it is. I'm just saying that's what it sounds like. And that's right. what it feels like. That's how but they play. That's how they play you with it because I, I, as long as you I keep like trying it out, it will make them feel yeah, so yeah, complicated yeah, them. Your, of your weekly earnings, oh boy, you, you, you scratch another tally on hell. It's like, mm -hmm. nigga, my rent dude. No. <laughs> Got to know that. Yeah, see, that's like, what I'm saying. It's not what you believe; it's how you believe it, and how yeah, they have people like, keep like, believing. You going you gonna yeah. press me for, like, you said, living Christ, like, or y'all said, living Christ, like, you gonna press me for that, but not the powers that be that are pressing me to live this way. Dog, I get Christ wouldn't even fuck with that. I'm broke. I'm. I got enough for a bill and a bit of weed. That shit, goes back to other choice. That goes back to having the choice. Like it says, he gives you the choice. Like it ain't like y'all said. He's not a fucking Twitter freak that's right in your day to day fucking like right. moves mm -hmm. on your day to day life every like every step of the way. Nah, he gave you the ability to choose to live righteously or to choose to live of the world. If you okay. live of the world, then mm -hmm. yeah, you might not ever leave the earth. But the whole time, see Dorothy didn't wait. Dorothy. Dorothy could have left with them shoes, but she chose not to. Now, she didn't know that she had the choice, and that's her issue. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. She always had the choice. But because that's, she didn't make it, that's why she couldn't get there when she wanted to. But you can say the same thing about somebody who didn't grow up with any type of religious beliefs. If you don't yeah. know, then you don't know. You yeah, don't know what you don't know. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. You, split, you splitting hairs with that. That That oh. is the argument of knowing right from wrong. And that's more of an inherent thing than it is like a biblical thing. Like, dog, you like, come on, bro. Like, I know both y'all. You know when you were doing that, you ain't you ain't feel right about it. Yeah. You chose not to. Okay, but you don't think that little voice in the back of your head that's telling you, hey man, like you know this shit wrong. But your physical being and your physical state of whatever situation, situation you right. in is fucking making you do this shit anyway. Like you, you know I Come on, bro. I don't pump plenty of shit in the A, but it's like, yo. Hey, listen, hold on. Like, hey, now. Like, I had to do that. Shit, so it's like, yo. <laughs> hey, look, dog. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm talking to niggas. I'd have been out there in the streets. But anyway, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think, I'm I think when it comes to the ability to have choice is what gives you the ability to to move past Earth. Like it's what makes the difference. So, so yeah. what's the right or the wrong thing to do? Because that's again, that's not that's not a fair critique. Like, like what's the right or the wrong thing to do at that point? It depends on what you're trying to do. You know, you know. What you well, hold on, because you're telling me like you know that you because you can succumb to weaknesses of the flesh which is that's a human condition i understand that at the same time though you're like well my argument is that you know inherently right from wrong at a very young age but you still choose or choose not to which i'm agreeing with you with choose or choose not to do so so it's like okay what is living christ-like at that point because 
if I'm living Christ like in the world around me isn't and I'm getting fucked for it, then what? Jesus didn't get fucked for it? Exactly. He had him up on that cross. They and fucked him that up. And, and, and he still never deterred hey, from listen. what the, fuck the mission was. That's what I'm saying. Like, He's about his father's work. If your mission is to make it to the gates of heaven, then you're going to do everything in your power to, to not make Mm -hmm. Basically, decisions are See, bad. That's, that's what Dorothy fucked up. Dorothy fucked up. Listen to all the niggas in the land of Oz going all over the place to the king, right. to the witch. If she, if she did like really tapped in and seen what she had in her hand already, she could have been back in Kansas. That's a fact. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm, my thing is this though. It's like because I think I think where we're getting uh, where we're getting kind of split up in is like. Not even split up. I think where mankind gets split up and it's like if you do right by people, that that guarantees you a spot in heaven. Yeah, fuck people. Fuck but, people. Fine. Uh, fuck I people, mean, right? you know, no, 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 hold on. You know, they, you know, they say that. love, love, yeah. love, love thy neighbor. Love they say that. that. In, 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 the Bible, in, in the Bible, it says live, oh, live no, like this. this. They all, I don't even like it them. It says live like this. In the Bible, it says live like this. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like all all the ants aren't fucking related, but they all have one common goal, and that's to fucking build this colony for the queen and take care of the queen. Like that's yeah, the but biggest. We don't, though. Huh? We don't. That's why we have split nations. We live in a country. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's so just to love your neighbor, not right. love everybody. Love, love your neighbor. Love your homies. Love your, your niggas, niggas is in your tribe. Niggas in your group. Okay, cool. Go. So love love people that's yeah, in yeah. your group. Yeah, I inherit. Yeah. I inhabit the planet with everybody. They are, for all intents and purposes, my neighbor. But you can say that. But yeah. then at the same time, if your neighbor ain't looking at you like the neighbor, then are y'all really neighbors? No, we're not. Right. We're not. Uh, so so then, we're, we're, that, we're, uh, okay. Uh, so where is the line? Again, from? that goes the back to saying, saying everybody has a choice. Me being the one that's like, I'm just moving the fuck through the motions, regardless of how I get fucked over. Because if I was to cash a fake check at a bank, does that make me a bad person? Or am I fucking over an industry that's been fucking me over since I was born? I mean, it depends on how your conscience feels about it, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know, but I don't know about good people and bad people. Like, I don't, like it's all choices. But that that goes back to my question: Why does it feel like a tryout? Because you said if you do these things. It's Only because you listening to niggas in the land of Oz. That's why I seem like a tryout. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. That's, That's what I'm telling you. Thank you. Hell yeah. That's Only because yeah. if you listen to the niggas in Oz, they're going to tell you go up the yellow brick road, go see this nigga, go talk to the witch, get a broom. Like none of that shit was what got her out of uh, fucking Oz. It was realizing she had the power the whole time. Realizing her, her true authority, her birthright. Okay, so when, when we're all created... He said, I I am you and you are me, basically. Like we all like brought into the father, you've seen the you see the son. Right. So initially we all have it in us. Yeah. So, but you, choices, you, you never leave Kansas, exactly. So yeah. in and different beliefs make people, you know, conflict and have fucking problems and not see eye to eye. So we all don't work on a common goal all the time together. You see what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. Why they say you're supposed to fellowship because you're supposed to find people like minded that's working towards the same goal, and those are the people that you live like ants with. Those it's are your neighbors, people. yes, yeah. Those it, are your it neighbors. It don't matter if you're Christian, it don't matter if you're Muslim, it don't like whatever the fuck you are. That's why it's important to fellowship with those people because those are your neighbors. Those are talking to shit, you're gonna build with them. That's what yeah. you that's what you build. And you don't build it because that's what's gonna get you out. You build it because that's how that's what's gonna that's what's gonna sustain you while you while you figure it out, while you do the work. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm with it. I'm with it. I don't believe in all that shit, but I'm with it. <laughs> I, mean, I, I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and lie and make it seem like, you know, I fucking believe everything word for word, a hundred percent. Nah. Like, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, man, it's not even it's not what you believe, it's how you believe that shit. It's, it, it's how you believe, it's how you interpret the shit. Like just like you was talking about, you can't really believe somebody was in a whale's mouth. 
You know, that's not a thing, but it's about that's how true. you interpret that, how you how you see that shit. Yeah, that's right. true. That's the thing. It's like I can take it for allegorical purposes, but other than that, it's like, nah, bro, I, I can't I can't sit here and preach this shit long term and then and then you would have me to preach this to my children when it's like dog the internet exists <laughs> the internet like, like people, and not only does people it, don't know it, what they're looking at function. like motherfuckers don't know what they're looking at and, and if you don't know what you're looking at you don't see nothing luke 17 24 neither shall i say low here or low there for the kingdom of god is within but well, stop you ain't gotta go nowhere <laughs> Dorothy, you got the shoes you, Dorothy, you, you got it in you. It's already in you. Look, look, look. It's already in you bro. But you gotta accept. You have to accept your birthright, and that's a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that See, angels, been... angels weren't given. Angels weren't given the choice to reject God. So it, it was nothing special that they worshipped him. It was nothing special that they acknowledged him. To be given the choice to reject it, that's what makes it significant that you that you acknowledge it. Now, if see, you don't have the choice, right it don't mean it. Now, see, I gotta stop you there because. Back, like in those days, angels were casted out. And yeah, angels, that's why they were casted out, right? Because they kind of like went against. Well, and they, it's not even that they rejected God; they rejected God's creation. They rejected yeah. men. Right. That's what. That's what got them cast out because they didn't. What they don't even have the capacity to reject God. They only. They were. They were made to serve Him. That's why. That's why with man, it's something different because they have the choice to not do that. I mean, you're going to get the consequences of your choices, but you have the choice. And that's what makes it significant when you acknowledge your birthright, when you acknowledge your standing. That's the Christ-like thing. Because Christ, he always told people, I'm doing my father's work. That's what, that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm yeah. supposed to do. That's what it's about. It's like you got to know you never left Kansas and you got to live like that. Like you got to play that game like you a nigga sitting in front of a TV and not a nigga in the game. But at the same time, you got to live it like it's going back to that idea of it being the game because it yeah. it's the game. It's like we're trying you gotta to play it through. It's funny as shit because we're trying to like out out be worthy the next man where it's like oh i live like i don't do it it's like yeah, see, that's that wrong mm -hmm. that's wrong that's wrong because you you it can't outwork yeah like to to try to outworthy somebody that's fucked mm -hmm. up you got the no, equal, you got no, equal no, right no you got equal standing no man but is supposed to be better than the next man because initially we're all created equal you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So to sit there and think that you're better than, like, and I think that's why some pastors are fucked up because half the position, they, like, you see it now on the internet, the pastor is mad because he didn't get a watch. Like, I just watched that video yesterday. And, like, you got pastors like Jeff Dollar making fucking GoFundMe for a jet. And, like, <laughs> and fucking <laughs> beat his shirt. And would and would stand up in front of the church and tell the congregation, like, look, my GoFundMe ain't got enough to 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 get my jet yet. That's fucked up. The man got the ATMs in the lobby, boy. Yeah, like for real, like, yo. If all you got is card, we got an ATM for you. Go to withdraw that shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> but look, that's that's a maximum of law. Let he who would be fooled be let he who would be deceived be deceived. If yeah. if you can be if you can if the devil can sit here in in there and and fool you that's your fault because you got the choice, right? You got the choice. Yeah. Hell yeah, he gonna come in the fancy suit with the nice shiny shit, and motherfuckers yeah. they don't even read the book; they just go in there and listen and feel good, so they miss out on the whole thing. They don't get what the fuck going on. Let he who would be deceived be deceived. Like motherfuckers yeah. don't know what they're looking at. If you don't know what you're looking at, you don't see nothing. They, and they just they just listen. They do what people tell them to do. So they miss how the whole thing works. Right. And that and they don't never study no other the other religions. And see, that's another thing. It's like that's why I was bringing up the other like Muslims and Buddhism and Hebrewism. Like basically, we all have the same. Religion, I feel like, has the same perception on power. Like you know, like you living like ants and working towards like a, a main goal. But you know, we call them God, 
call him Allah. Like you see what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. different for for what they for who they believe in. I should say not what they believe in, but for who they believe. In. Yeah, you know, like the way the way I usually say it is like it's different people making a map of the same place. You know, right. it's the same thing. They they look at it different, so their map gonna look a little different. But they talking about the same thing. They all trying to get to the same place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like the like the story of Krishna from Hinduism. Like he 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 had like a Jesus thing, but the whole like the whole time <clears throat> he knew he was God, but he was still letting motherfuckers do regular shit to him. You right. know, but we, it, it's 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 knowing that knowing your birthright and accepting and acknowledging that, and this and to do that, you actually have to to live a way that's different than the, the rest of the thing that's going around on around you. Like right. it, it, like Jesus went up in there, turning over the tables, smacking the Pharisees. You yeah. know, it, 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 <laughs> you got to be able to reject this world or let it go, as opposed to the way people hold on to it and they think this is all that's going on. Right. Like this is it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, it's like, you gotta live that way. You gotta live like this is it. You gotta live like okay, I'm in the I'm in the land of Oz, but I know I never left Kansas. You gotta live like that. And that's the it's a choice. And when you make the choice, that's what makes the difference. Mm-hmm. It's easy to just you know do what the niggas in the in the Emerald City are doing. You know, the, oh this week we wearing green. This week we wearing red. This week we wearing yellow. We all gonna dance the same. It's easy to do that. You know the path is narrow. You have yeah. to choose to reject all of that and 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 see the truth for what it is. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I feel. That. Yeah, that's crazy, boy. This is a hell of a subject where I I, I <laughs> had to get in, bro. I had to get in. It's like wow, like me and I got a cousin. We were just talking about this shit, man, and like. We watched fucking uh the book of e- e- Enoch on uh yeah. and like some of that shit they were comparing it to the Bible and like you can tell like it's like 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 conflicts there you know what I mean like everything ain't really adding up but they talking about the same shit you see mm-hmm. what I'm saying but like in the book of Enoch it's you know giants and shit like that you know like. Ah, man, it's yo, like, yeah, yeah. Enoch was a motherfucker. He he came down there and he um he um he he was the 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 the, the, the I guess you could say the lawyer for the fallen angels. You know, he was um he was their representative because they was you know, God was gonna gonna punish him. He was like, you know, hold on, let me let me um uh, let me talk for him, let me speak for him. You know, he was like the, the devil's advocate almost. You could say, yeah. you know, hell yeah, mm. Oh yeah, we see motherfuckers don't even get into most of the books. Like they just go to church, pay their money, and dance when the music come on. And they don't they don't study none of this stuff. They don't they don't read it. And they and they and they, and they also they they take everything super literally, so they miss what's being said. Mm-hmm. Like I've been trying to like explain to my mom. She's seventy. I'm trying to explain to her why I don't go to the church I grew up in. It's like you know, it's a Christian church, but. I got questions, and it's like, mm-hmm. I, I want my shit answered before I fully commit to something. You see what I'm saying? Especially yeah. being from the South and knowing, you know, so basically slave masters had a hand in what we believe. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's a slave religion. It's a that slave religion. That shit bothers yeah. me. Like, you know uh, look, look what bothers me. Like, how, how, how are you not the chosen people in your own religion? That should be right. killing me. Right. <laughs> that should be killing me. <laughs> like this is us. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Isn't, he, isn't Enoch one of Adam's sons? At, well, Enoch. This is the interesting thing about Enoch. It, there's an Enoch in the lineage of Cain, and there's an Enoch in the lineage of Seth. Right. So, yeah. He has, he has two grandchildren named Enoch. But yeah. but Cain's lineage ends with Enoch. Enoch is the seventh son of Seth. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Seth. Uh, so Seth was the grandchild of Adam. No, he was a child. He was their third son. He was the son they had after. I'm sorry. Uh, right. After, uh, Abel uh, Enoch's right. the grandson. Enoch's one of the grandsons. Yeah. Right. I got you now. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. 
like I said, I, I just watched that shit, so everything's not, you know, set in right now. But yeah, okay. Yeah, Seth, Heck yeah. Is, the third Seth is the third son. Mm hmm. <laughs> really, the book of Enoch was trying to explain. Really, the book of e e Enoch was. Uh, okay. Cain, Cain killed Abel. Abel was of evil. Cain was of of good. Seth, yeah, we back, bitch. I got shit to talk about. Y'all talking about Enoch? Nah, I'm, feeling, I'm trying to remember this shit because I I just watched it. But like, basically, they're trying to say that's why you got good and evil because of the descendants of Cain and then the descendants of Abel. Abel. Uh, well, yeah. You got good and you got good and evil because because God, you know, God, God is He got both, but both of them they like they like set the set the tone, set the standard. You know, Enoch he 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 worked the field, he worked the the, the earth, and he 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 basically like like the fruits and vegetables already gonna grow. So him out there working the fruits and vegetables and using that as an offering was already against. The, he was already not really doing nothing else. Something God was already taking care of, and and the. What was the law was that what he was supposed to sacrifice was was the animal was blood. So he was breaking the law and he was he was he was taking credit for God's work. But Abel Abel was the one he nurtured the animal. So he gave he cared about the things that God was doing and he he followed the law and sacrificed appropriately. So I mean, he he got the favor. Right. Right. And that's why Cain killed them because basically right. I got mm -hmm. you. Mhm. Mm and then, then they had Seth afterwards. Chris just read the Bible, boy. That nigga on one. Yeah. Like, that nigga um, just the Bible. I, <laughs> bro, I, had, I had to study this stuff when uh when when I when I was um online for masonry, bro. Okay. Okay. Anyway, man, what's, hold up. what's up? Talk to me. Go no, T.Y., you taking his head. That, that, that nigga a Freemason now, boy. Well, I'm a, I'm not even a Freemason. Ancient and accepted. Oh, my God. Whole man. different thing. Scott is right, bud. Tell him. All right. <laughs> I love you anyway. <laughs> bro, I'm out here, man. Tell him. Tell him. I'm out here. You're my brother, and I love you anyway. <laughs> Look bad. Well, you always been one of them old Tamaric eating ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> <Tell them. laughs> now we get to the barbecue section of the debate. Mm -hmm. so that will be for us. <laughs> oh, the fuck out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I used to be nah, roasting I was trying to do a podcast for fucking four years, bro. Five, well, like three years. What's stopping you? Can't get nobody to do it with me, man. What you need somebody else for? Judd. Because that lame ass nigga right there moved the fuck away. Judd. It's 2022. Put that shit online. Y'all niggas can do it on Zoom or something. Yeah, the problem is, ain't no y'all niggas. I'm so low. Dolo was a bitch these days. Hey, hey man. You said something you about you solo Dolo, but then can't find nobody to do it with you. Yeah. Say that again in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you making your own problem. <laughs> no, I'm solo Dolo, and I'd like to do it with some people, but I ain't got no niggas. Well, you can do that shit online. You can, you can be no, such no, a nigga. Niggas might link up. So it looked like y'all might link up after but put, a, um, uh, put a bug in your ear podcast. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I mean, man. I tried to start that shit years ago. That shit ain't work. Most of the time, the way it is to lead by example. So, I mean, fuck it. Just do Ooh, it. Yeah. I, mean, I had all the equipment. We was pulling up every weekend. I should just got weak. Bro, he's sleeping, man. Get out here and do that shit, bro. I, I, I say here, I got 26 episodes of a show I done my own myself. Like, all me. You can do the shit, bro. It's but not it, difficult. Eat one pillow, yeah. What? 
to roast your ass. That nigga you got said you excuses. That nigga said yeah. you make excuses, man. Hell yeah, nigga making excuses. He can take all that head out the camera, boy. For all this, boy. Nah, then how your girl gonna see it? Look, <laughs> 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 <Well, yeah, that laughs> well, you see all this head? No cap, boy. No cap. No cap at all, boy. <laughs> 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 well, that did Chris look like DMX? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> that my nigga. Fuck you, somebody. Wow, man, hey, bro, I was just tuning in, man. Goddamn, all. Uh, I'm gonna holler at you, man. All right, buddy. Good work in the morning. Good talking to you, sir. All right, bro. Y'all be safe. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Who else want to smoke? Jug, get in here. Where he at? Who else want to smoke? See, bro, motherfuckers be running from Christianity, nigga. I can spit this shit back and forth. I don't have to hey, believe Chris, Jesus. Tell they be running from Christianity. Tell them, boy. What you mean, nigga? What you mean? Bro, it's you. Oh, shit. Bar. This nigga, man. Hey, I don't know. Well, you still you still stay in Georgia, right? Yeah, nah, but I'm on the West Coast. Oh shit! God damn! I've been out here off and on for like six years. Mm -hmm. I live in Washington. I was oh, in what? Georgia for two years. Last time I talked to you, as a matter of fact, I was in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you you probably don't know nobody out there, then, huh? Yeah, I know a couple people. Yeah, nigga, you, you can do that podcast, man. You can nah, play. Listen, hey, niggas out here weird, bro. Good. <laughs> weird like how? What they doing? But they weird, bro. They eat stuffing on Thanksgiving and shit. Like, they weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What you mean? I thought niggas eat stuff in the face. Nah, nigga, we eat dressing. Wait, come on. We don't got that. Yeah, no. Oh, shit, niggas said we eat dressing. I feel you. <laughs> oh, shit, nigga, walk in there. What is stuffing? <laughs> As a motherfucker. <laughs> White women and shit. Like, listen, I can't do the snow bunny, man. We ain't gonna get into it. I can't do the we snow bunny. We ain't gonna get into it. I ain't going down that road. We ain't gonna get into it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm gonna dip my toe in it. I heard, I heard niggas say white girls got cold pussy. What? <laughs> On the low road, man. Niggas love to be on the high road, bro. I'm on. I'm in the mud. I, I see. <laughs> well, you mud in hell, bro. Oh, I'm not going there with you, bro. <laughs> I'm not going there. I gotta live here. You don't. <laughs> Niggas gonna be like, was, was that? Was that time that we saw in the live stream? <laughs> <laughs> What's all that shit you said last night, huh? <laughs> Hey, what me? <laughs> no, Tim, I tried to stop him. <laughs> he was having too much fucking fun. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hell no, Chris. Oh, shit. I love it. I love it, man. Hell. Where your wife at? You still married? Oh, yeah. She in the house somewhere. She in the house somewhere. Probably make grits or something. I don't know. Well, I don't eat no grits. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. I don't eat grits. I can't do uh, it. 
I like to slap shit out your ass. You, I, you from Georgia don't eat no goddamn grits. Cause man, uh, that's slave food. I can't do it. It's like too <laughs> slave. <laughs> it hurt too much eating grits. I can't do it. And me, but I just made a fat ass pot of grits the other day with some eggs <laughs> and bacon. Man, I take your eggs and bacon though. Now you can keep you hold the grits. Matter of fact, I think we'll make some, uh, I don't feel like cooking tonight, but I think one of these days this week, probably Friday or Saturday, I'm gonna make some uh, some shrimp and grits, man. On my mind. And see the shrimp too? Nah, man, I can't do that, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. shrimp and grits. Either that or some shrimp at too fake, for sure. Mm. Yeah, put that back in the water, man. Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna fire something up. Mm-mm. That big old ocean roach. Nah. <laughs> well, you eat ocean roaches, don't you? Uh-uh. <laughs> Not me. You put all that shit back in the water. That Them so niggas live a different life. We got to do, do something. Do this podcast with me. We not on Discord. You, you said on Discord? Time. When we do it on Discord? Why on Discord? Because I can record the... Um, I can I can record... The, the audio or the video well I can record the audio and the video I can isolate the two and I can mix the audio to where if you listen to it on Spotify or Apple Music or something like that it'll sound like it's supposed to sound and then I can then fuse that audio with the original video and then you post it on YouTube and it'll sound it won't sound like we talking on Instagram right now basically you seen, have, you, have you seen the show I was doing? I did I use a program called OBS. You My can you can cut the audio from it. What OBS? Huh? What's up with OBS? My brother was telling me about that uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, free open source program. You can you can you can get you can pull the audio straight out of that. Had a video looking spectacular. Okay. I did it all by myself. You should have called me, bro, because I could have mixed your audio and made it sound fucking good quality. You know I was you- cool for that now. No, I didn't know you went to school for it. Yeah, I went to school. T.Y. went to school 2017. I went to college. Oh, that's right. You did go for some music shit. I do remember that. <laughs> well, you went for some music shit, what? <laughs> With your competitive flute playing, man. What's up? Goddamn heavy saxophone playing, man. What's up? You still playing the guitar? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I'm not, yeah. I don't play like I used to, but uh, yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, we used to play the guitar a little bit. Um, <laughs> shit, I want to get an electric drum set, too. I want to get back to playing. I miss playing drums. I want to play drums again, too. Bro, you got to get into this shit. You talking about you miss, bro. You got to get in here. Oh, I am, you know, bro. I just got a new apartment and shit, bro. Like, I, bro, I've been going through it for the past couple of years. Like, I just got, I got me a new apartment and shit, man. Uh, me and my son stay here and shit. So I got mm-hmm. mad room to just do what the fuck I want to do. Hell yeah, yeah nigga. Yeah. Nah, Hell man, yeah. I don't want one, but I ain't got one. So. I don't know, yeah. man. I, bro, I wouldn't mind showing up to you to, 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 to help out with your podcast. You know, I, yeah, I'll make an appearance, bro. I don't mind. But I fuck up an appearance, but I need a co-host. <laughs> talk some shit with you. I need somebody who's gonna talk some shit. Talk some shit. Hey, bro, that's what I do. I talk I shit. Somebody who's gonna disagree with me. I don't want nobody gonna be on there like, yeah, yeah. Right, I right. Hate I hate that shit. I need a contract. That's what my boy Red, who ran up out of he been wanting me to do his podcast for like two years. He got a little nice podcast out there in Atlanta and shit. Oh yeah, man! You need to lean oh, into God, this I shit, just... bro. Oh, yeah, cause I be disagreeing. <laughs> I be disagreeing <laughs> three sometimes. Then you got to though. I be approved me wrong, ass nigga. Yeah, otherwise, niggas in there just circle jerking each other. Oh, I agree with that too. I agree with that too. Great job, bro. I agree with that too. You agree with me? Get the fuck out of here. Right. And uh, I'm shit. Am, am I wrong? Am I am I wrong? Nah, I know I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. <laughs> You better no, prove my, me uh, wrong. Argument is fallible as shit, but <laughs> I fight the issue. Makes for good. It makes for good. Uh, good episodes when you. Hell yeah, I controversy. Like, huh? Controversy. Hell yeah. But not controversy. Just contrarians. Like 
It's not really cosplay. It's just being preparing. I mean, it's like I, things you can't refute, like indelible facts. Of course, you can't refute them, but niggas be trying to. Oh, do they? But that's why you know, Joe Budden's <laughs> podcast was, is, is and was so successful. It was lightning in a bottle because he's such a contrarian. It's like you hear him try to argue down a fucking point that's like you sound ridiculous but he he has the uncanny ability to back people in the corners because he's passionate about his point yeah he got a point to make see sometimes motherfuckers just say shit because they feel it but when you got a point to make you can you can be righteous about that shit you can back it up and i think anything regardless of it, if it's a debate or an argument or just a conversation or whatever it's like whatever you say or what you believe you have to have conviction that's what's helpful. Otherwise, it's hollow. Otherwise, it's hollow. Yeah. Have that conviction. Oh, I'm grown now, Chris. You ain't know I'm grown now. <laughs> right? This nigga whole no. daddy. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm grown now, Chris. You ain't know. He <laughs> ain't about 10, 12 years, but I'm grown. Hell no, man. <laughs> I love it, bro. Shit, shit, shit unfolds. I, I love it, man. I was always nigga. the favorite. <laughs> oh, even this nigga messy as hell. <laughs> if, anybody who watched it, let them know I was always the favorite. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, y'all other niggas stupid as hell. Uh, motherfuckers gotta disagree, bro. I'm here to disagree. Motherfuckers be out here just want to agree with everybody, shake hands. Hey, we're friends. No. I don't know y'all niggas. Don't What's even the like point? Right? <laughs> you got to have a point. You got to be able to back up what you're saying. Otherwise, you're just talking outside of your neck. And that's the thing, too. It's like, with, with like, it's not necessarily disagreeing. It's just like vantage points. You know what I mean? Like, where do you stand on that vantage point? Because you could, like I said, I've been saying this the whole lot. It's like two things can be true at the same time. And yeah, I think yeah. that, that's a that's an angle that's not looked at enough. Where it's like two things can be true at the same time. You can be right. You can stand in your point with conviction, and you can be passionate about it. And so can I. And both of those things can exist in the same world. Because that's why I think that's why we got to disagree so that we can we can flesh out the details of of of. of you know the different sides like being able to look at a point from different angles as opposed to being so convinced in a single angle that you have well i mean like, drawing a line really is like that's i think that's the detriment to any debate is drawing a line in the sand and saying i'm standing on this line and you're clearly on the other line now it's either my job to get you to come to my side of the line or your job to get me to come to the other side it's like well no because we can draw a plus sign and there can be four corners mm -hmm. Well, you see, you gotta get to the details, and that's what the art that's what the back and forth does. It and gets you to the details. details. Oh, yeah, the devil's in the details. The devil isn't in the conversation, the devil's in the details. Because with, yes, that, sir. with that plus sign in those four corners, I can put two feet in both squares. Mm hmm. So you don't even realize like that. See, look, I told what hey, Chris, stop playing with me now. <laughs> You put two feet in both squares, and then what? <laughs> and then you put two feet in the other two squares, and then we're arguing two separate points at the same time. But well, then and we can also see where, 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 where they're coming together. Hell yeah, see, but it's, it's necessary to have that back and forth, because otherwise we just sit there with that one line and nobody moving, nobody doing nothing. No, nah, because, I mean... an argument it's like it's immutable so it's like there's there's an obvious push and pull or, or tug of war going on but it's like if i have as much conviction as you do no one's going to move like we're just going to be pulling on a rope with the same amount of intensity and mm -hmm. it's awesome yeah yeah and you got to be able to, to go back and forth with it how how close can i get you to the line is like that's a boring argument <laughs> it's, it's boring. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I it, care to get you to the line. It's like it's not about the line. I think, the I think to really be able to understand your own point, you have to be able to understand the opposing point. Otherwise, you just you just being faithful with your point. Like you got to be able to know what the opposite opposite side is saying if you're gonna say you disagree. 
Like you can't yeah. just disagree and have nothing. Like then, well, there's that too, something. and then there's also like you have to be knowledgeable in what that other side of the point is. Because mm-hmm. it, like the thing about having a decent debate is like it's chess and not checkers. So it's like I have to know the piece that you're going to pull in order for me to retort. Effectively. Yeah. Yeah, effectively. There we go. Effectively. <laughs> no, effectively, because I could just be rambling and just shouting out random rhetoric, and it's like, all right, this is exhausting. I don't feel like talking anymore. And you're not going nowhere with that. Hell you're yeah. Nowhere with that at all. It's like you just throw it up useless points in the air just to try to throw me off, and it's like now we're arguing about something that's not. Like I, I hate that. Uh, I hate that analogy of like you're talking apples and oranges. It's like it's not apples and oranges because you're arguing about fruit, <laughs> right? <laughs> I like that. Hell yeah! <laughs> like, I hate that. You're arguing about fruit. It's not apples and oranges. Mm-hmm. And even if it was, I mean, you're still talking about fruit. Sure. All right. Let's mm-hmm. say the next apples and oranges. Do apples and oranges both have seeds? They do. So they right. also have a commonality that we can argue. Exactly. Exactly. Sometimes motherfuckers just trying to avoid having the back and forth because they, they know the position they hold. They don't really have nothing to substantiate it. And that'll be the issue. You got to have something to substantiate the position you have. Otherwise, why the fuck do you have the position? And then on top of that, it's like... <sighs> Never mind. That's because that's, that's a rabbit hole. But... Um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta have something to substantiate your, your position. That's why and you the, need the podcast so we can do the rabbit arguing. holes. At least we're arguing about seeds. I don't care about the fruit that we're arguing about in particular. Whether it be an <laughs> avocado, whether it be a fucking pear, whether it be an apple or an orange, they all have seeds. Therefore, they all have commonality. And they can be debated. Because those common parts, part, those common parts, those common parts go hand in hand. With the parts that that that, that, that are um, in contradiction, like I guess it's like, what do you prefer at that point? But that's, I mean, again, that's a uh, no pun intended. That's a fruitless debate. But <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. well, it's like it's, it's preference at that point. You know what I mean? It's like, what's the difference between an argument and a debate? And it's like, are we actually having a debate and argument, or are we just debating preference? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you're debating preference, what's the point? Exactly. You're never come to a line. You're never going to go anywhere. And even if you do a line, you just, okay, all you've aligned is your preferences. Like nothing, nothing's happened. You just you just shook hands and said, hey, we both agree. Right. It's like, all right, well, shit, I, I like grits. You don't like grits. Or you like grits, and I like grits, but I like sugar instead of salt. But okay. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Doesn't, right. It doesn't. It doesn't move the needle. Yeah, it don't move the needle, and that's the point. You want to move the shit forward. Because if we have opposing views and we go back and forth, to, you know, to to see to, to flesh out, you know, and understand what the other person is saying, we both learn more about the thing we're talking about. Right. Mm-hmm. If I mean, and, and shit, if there, if there's even something to be learned, like again, it could be a fruitless debate. It could be. It could be. Completely useless to even talk about. Yeah, sometimes you gotta dance that dance to figure it out. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. Damn shit, you do what you do. I'm here to uh, do the uh, dance. I guess ultimately the question is like, do you care to know more? Yes. And a nigga who think he already know ain't gonna ask a question. So they, he don't really. He, I already know, so he, they don't care to know more. But do they have to? No, it's your choice. I mean, you always you you, you, you you're really free have to, to. you're free to choose whatever you want, but you're not free from the consequences. And ignorance has its consequences to it. It can be blissful, but it has its consequences to it. Does it, man? Listen, <laughs> there is shit from I remember conversations you and I had when I was because I was what day what we I was seventeen, eighteen when we lived together. Mm-hmm. And there's conversations that I always remember and harken back to. I'm just like, I used to think Christian bitch, but he actually was making a lot of sense. Then there's also conversations where I'm like, I thought she was making a lot of sense, and I'm like, that nigga was wrong than a month. 
It sounds good though. <laughs> but I also have to take into consideration it's like I was conversing with a twenty four year old Chris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you would watch twenty four year old Chris in a fucking fight or an argument. God, yes I would. Fucking idiot. You wouldn't like yourself. You wouldn't like I yourself. would not. <laughs> it's it's fucking cringeworthy, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> That is like God. But it's just the, the memories is like, ugh, there's a bad taste in my fucking mouth. Right? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> that nigga was gross. Ugh. <laughs> God. Hey, right, but shit, I was even worse. I was nineteen. Not even I was seventeen. Cause when I moved when I moved in into the the first house, not the, the big house we lived in, but the first house. Mm-hmm. We said umbrella. I was seventeen turning eighteen. When I started working at uh, Pascal, when I was seventeen. I do remember you had that little job. <laughs> that, was, that was my first job. Yo, dad, man. <laughs> oh shit! Boy, I, I, I gotta be going back, boy. Come on, <laughs> niggas is old, boy. boy. I got kids, I think, man. Oh shit, it's been a whole daddy now. I love that shit, bro. Hey, I can't get over it. I ain't, bro. <laughs> it is insane. <laughs> My daughter is nine. Oh shit, got me thinking about this shit now, man. That shit. Mm mm mm. <laughs> that, was a, that was some shit, but. Good time, nigga. Bye. Hell yeah. I ain't gonna put your business on the internet before they come kicking your door in. Yeah, fuck these <laughs> niggas. <laughs> you need to about the spirit shrink, boy. You was out here jugging. I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell niggas I'm, I'm on the low road. <laughs> I'm not on the high road at all. Well, then Chris out here jugging, boy. Cashing paychecks and selling weed and shit. Running red. <laughs> I'm not giving a fuck. Ooh. Reckless. Oh yeah, well, look, bro. I'm about to get off of here, man. We got to get up, and you got to do this podcast. Come on with it. Hell yeah, bro. I'm, I mean, I'm sure I'm here. I'm here for it, bro. Come on with it, shit, because we apparently got pretty good chemistry. So, hell yeah, this should be fun. And that is, I think, the quintessential mark of having any good production is chemistry. So, I can produce yeah. it. Uh, I really want red bitch ass hop in there. If you see this shit. I love you, boy. I ain't mean to call you a bitch, but I love you. <laughs> talk his shit, cause he he he's a smart motherfucker. We we always be talking stuff when we was in college. We hood nervous. Yeah, he yeah. And then my boy Bizzo, who was just on here, he he got something to say. You Hell yeah, nigga! Get the get the, get the cast and crew together. We'll fuck it up. Let's do it. I right, bet. Well, let me right, I'm going to reach out to you, bro. Everybody done got about it anyway. We the only two niggas in here. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. All hey. right, man. Hey, post this shit. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to post it when it's, when it's, when it's uh, done. Yeah. Man, post this shit because we was, we was spending some bars on this shit. Hell yeah, niggas ain't ready, but they going to have to get it. Fuck you talking about. On everything. All right, man. <laughs> Peace.